this question is about a margin of error and we're going to need margin of error so this EBM the T value which we computed before multiplied by the standard deviation of the sample divided by the square root of sample size so I'm going to grab that I'm also going to need this right here so I'm going to copy those two go to a new sheet paste them in all right let's get all the information typed in n is 22 uh, x is 32 that's the average or the mean sample standard deviation 10 all right uh, I have to take here I have a 99 percent confidence so I have to take that halfway to 100 So my confidence is equal to average of 1 and 0.99. So I'm taking 0.99 halfway to 1, and it's 0.995. Now my t value, t dot inv, t dot inverse, probability is this confidence right here. Degrees of freedom is not n, it's n minus 1. So there we go, this is our t value. Your t value should be something close to 2. Uh, if it's really small, close to 0, or negative, definitely not good. And if it's really big, like maybe bigger than 5, definitely not good either. So it should be something close to 2. And from here, we just did this t computation. Now my error bound. EBM, all right, T value, so it equals T value times standard deviation of the sample divided by square root of sample size. There we go. I'll put these computations here. All right, that EBM number is what I'm putting in here. Two decimal places, zero, four. All right. All right, this is really important for the problems later because you're going to need the EBM and you're going to compute a confidence interval based on this EBM computation.